there is so much confusion about act structure and act breaks these days, uh, mostly because over the last few years on commercial TV, you know, the shows went from four acts to five acts to six acts to seven acts. You know, if you look at the Real Housewives of wherever, it seems like they have 14 acts uh, and more commercials than programming. But that's a commercial decision, right? When I first started, which was, you know, so long ago, I won't get into numbers. Um, the shows we were writing, the hour-long shows were 48 minutes long. 48 minutes, seems like an eternity. Uh, a commercial broadcaster now is probably broadcasting 40 minutes. So that's an extra eight minutes of commercials. You, know, you can't, if you put those eight minutes into the three existing commercial breaks, you're running five, six, seven minute commercial breaks and who, especially in this 500 channel universe, is gonna stick around for that? Probably no one. So they invented these extra acts. But in terms of story structure, our story structure is the same. It's, it's four acts. And then the other confusion is, well, I thought it was three acts. Uh, some TV is written in three acts, and certainly movies are written in three acts. Why? Where is this extra act coming from? Where is it going? Uh, the, actually, the four-act structure and the three-act structure are exactly the same thing. We just speak about them differently. The three-act structure, the first act is 25% of the script. The second act is 50% of the script. <coughs> And the final act is another 25% of the script. But the major structural uh, element in the entire script is the midpoint, which comes halfway through that long act two, um, which is sort of crazy. Why would you not sort of make a bigger deal out of the major structural uh, element in your script? TV, they formalized it, probably because there were commercials to put in the middle. Um, and they just said, okay, so this is actually Acts 2 and 3, and the midpoint is the end of Act 2. Structurally, the stories are exactly like, I like four acts for plotting because it gives you just sort of clear targets to hit. Oh, here are my four act breaks. Once I have my four act breaks, the rest of the story becomes very easy to plot out. Um, that big feature act two just is, is terrifying for writers, right? It's where people get lost. So I would urge even feature writers to think about four acts. Uh, I know when I was working in China and working on features there, they were calling it four acts and it seemed so freeing in a way. But I know there are people who will get really upset at this. Um, it's gonna be one of those things, like which end you crack your boiled egg on that people will fight about throughout eternity.